We, like every, every one of you, uh, probably uh, have used uh, NGF or NG4 ever in Angular, because how else would you write a component? And um, the asterisk there means it's structural. And uh, I, I will explain what, it's, what it means in, in deep. So uh, these are, these are the, the common ones. And um, I think there is, uh, there is no other uh, included in Angular. But uh, switch, yeah, sorry, there's switch. I forget about it <laughs> because so we don't use the switch to, <laughs> that often. But yeah, there is uh, also switch, and uh, there is a lot of other possibilities than uh, than these uh, three uh, you can write. And um, what do they do? They are responsible for HTML layout. Uh, basically, you reshape or manipulate the DOM structure with them because you shouldn't do it without. Uh, without um, these, um, uh, these directives. Uh, uh, otherwise, you will be, you will be um, uh, touching the internal structure of the DOM uh, without the Angular knowing what you are doing. And uh, that's, that's bad. That's not good for the, for the uh, digest cycle and change detection. So uh, typically, we add, remove, or manipulate elements. What that means is that uh, we need an um, we view container reference in, in the di directive that's, uh, that repre represents a container, something we actually manipulate. Be because we, uh, we cannot manipulate the, the wall DOM, we only can manipulate something that has been referred into the directive, like the, actually uh, the thing that we want to touch. And uh, uh, one or more views can be attached. So uh, when, we, when we do stuff, uh, like uh, repeat something with ng4, uh, more, more stuff is attached to DOM uh, because it's repeating same component, same, same template again and again, and it, it, gets, uh, it gets rendered by Angular. And we can, we can achieve that with a view container. There's something else that's a re uh, template reference that represents an embedded template. That's something inside. That's something uh, that uh, can be used to instance embedded views. Like it's it's the thing that can be repeated, not the thing that we are attaching it for, it for but the thing that it gets repeated. Uh, uh, so it's the element that we put the directive up on. Uh, uh, the one. One of the main things we, uh, we have to know with directives, uh, especially the stru structural ones, is the, is the context variables. Uh, when, we, when we look at this ng4, we will see there's index, there's some alt, and there's track by. We forget about the track by because it's something else, but there's uh, index and alt that's uh, really interesting. Uh, because it's the variable that is uh, exported from the directive. So index is what is the like uh, um, uh, what is the number in the in the list of the of that element. Odd, that's boolean for if it's odd or even. Uh, there are a few more mentioned in documentation. Uh, probably I will also show them, but. Uh, there's like five, five of them that ng4 uh, expose. Then we can use them with uh, these, uh, these let assigns uh, in, in i or, uh, or in odd, uh, like the class odd. Uh, in template variable declara declaration. So if we use ngif, how many of you have ever used ngif like this? Like how many? Of you write ngifs like this, so you so you use observables in your in your components. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I use observable, but not like as user. So we're directly using this user dot. So you are subscribing in in component and yeah. This is this is probably the better way how to do it yeah. because it handles the unsubscription of the from from the observable, and uh, it's uh, it's with the async pipe. That's something we will not uh, talk about. But async pipe uh, exposes the 
like value of the observable that's right now. And uh, we, we will assign it to a variable user that we, that we declared with the S syntax. So basically, we, we declare a vari variable in template and then we will use it uh, as the user um, inside, inside the scope of that, of that uh, declaration. So uh, we, we can achieve that also with custom directive and I will show you how. Uh, this is the let directive. Uh, if we like, if we need to declare a variable inside a component, we can either use it this way with ngif. That's not a problem. But if you if you do it like this, then the component would not get re rendered if the variable is false, because it's if it's false value, it's not rendered. Rendered. Uh, if we uh, use the let directive, the custom one, there's uh, there's uh, nothing like that in Angular yet. Uh, we we will provide a way how to declare a variable inside the template for purpose of like some temporary usage. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, when we want to um, uh, show some uh, show some numbers. That are in um, uh, that are uh, from observable, and the number can be um, like from uh, zero to uh, I don't know two hundred. Then the zero would not be displayed because zero is a falsy value. Uh, but if we declare it like this, it would get displayed because it doesn't care. It doesn't have the condition to not show the element. So we can declare the the variable in in uh, in the template. Uh, these uh, these usages there's there's a lot of them but uh, it's the it's the really specific ones uh, and uh, writing this directive is uh, is really easy. Uh, what what can be a bit confusing there is the interface. The like the biggest part of the directive is currently interface if we count the comments. Uh, but uh, when we look at that, we only need one of the properties that's uh, that's defined in the interface. One is implicit, and one is uh, applet. Uh, implicit is the is the implicit value of the uh, of the directive. It's uh, ex exposing the current uh, current value and enables us to use the let syntax. Uh, if we if you if we use the uh, semicolon let something something, then uh, we will like declare a variable in template with the let syntax. If we want to use the s syntax, we need to uh, expose it via the other uh, other syntax, and it's the applet. Basically, we name the the property same as the directive and then it gets uh, exposed for the s usage because if we do it in template uh, it will it will know that we are we are using the inside uh, inside uh, um, directive variable um, so uh, inside the, the the directive there is input uh, applet it's set input only and uh, uh, it's uh, it's for the setting the internal value of the of the view reference. Like we uh, we uh, we get a value uh, in parameters, and uh, this value will be set to an uh, to an impli uh, to an applet or implicit uh, uh, value in the uh, that's uh, described in in let context. Uh, I am setting uh, both of them because uh, I want a uh, user to to have a chance to use like either either of these uh, syntaxes. Uh, personally, I prefer the S one because it's uh, it's more more friendly. Uh, this is the usage of the directive. The both usage, usages one is with uh, with async data. Uh, no, uh, S as data and one is do with uh, let data too, uh, so you can you can see that it's doing the same thing but uh, in a, in a different syntax. Uh, what what should like what is this uh, good for? Uh, uh, imagine that uh, we are displaying bits, for example. Uh, 
from uh, from some random stream. Like we have a random strip, uh, stream of bits, zero or one, and we want to display uh, eight bits. If you would uh, uh, use an async for each one of these bits, uh, then uh, you would have eight subscriptions in your template. Uh, if you would uh, uh, do the uh, like subscribe first and then then show what's what has been um, gotten from the from the observable, then you would have the same value. But there is a solution. Then, if you are, if you uh, if you use the one of one of these syntaxes, then you would subscribe to the value, and uh, each time you you declare that in a in a variable, uh, the observable returns you a new value that like randomized, and uh, it it returns you random random eight bits, for example. So you can imagine why why it's uh, why it's good to share the the subscription. There is. Other example that's for range. Uh, other directive that's doing similar thing uh, uh, as uh, ng4, but it's uh, displaying stuff only for like the range that we had defined. Uh, currently, it's implemented that uh, it returns uh, like it exposes value only as an implicit. And it exposes a uh, few few other uh, values. Uh, it's index first and last, uh, similar to the to the ng4, you know, where index is index first last indicates uh, the position uh, in the list, uh, and you uh, you provide to the uh, to the directive uh, uh, basically. Uh, you can input two things. One is tuple, number and number, and one is only number. If you if you input tuple, then it would get uh, it would generate range from two. It would only uh, if you would only uh, provide a number uh, like the second option, only one number. It would uh, pro uh, generate for from zero to something. Uh, I will show you the uh, usage, so it's a little bit easier to understand what's going on inside. So there's up range. Uh, you are you are um, uh, putting there the max elements variable. Uh, imagine in component max elements it's seven, for example. So uh, you are declaring let uh, let number. So you have uh, you have the current number and you have also the current index. Mm, because uh, in this in this example, the index is not same as number, because number will be seven, index will be zero, and you will display uh, seven uh, seven items uh, thanks to up range. Uh, what's the real world example? Is the when we are show uh, we are displaying, uh, for example, uh, drop down of years. Uh, you have an application with form, and you want a user to select only from uh, like today year to uh, thirty years in future. So you will ah, it's tw uh, twenty uh, twenty uh, two thousand five and two thousand eighteen there. So it will show uh, it will generate the items from two thousand five to two thousand eighteen, and then display these options in the in the drop down so user will select only these years and you doesn't have to provide this logic in a in a component because it's like it's pretty useless to to have this in a component because it's pretty readable in a, in a template to only only have it there uh, declared with uh, with basically two numbers uh, so uh, this is this is usage for for ng4 i will again show the uh, show the range uh, uh, range implementation. Uh, you can see there's uh, uh, again uh, two um, uh, two things in constructor. Um, it's a view container reference and template reference. Uh, so we can with like we can attach template to um, to view container and repeat it with uh, with uh, no, with a template ref, and uh, we can see that in uh, ten, that range for each in fourteen uh, line number, and uh, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy uh, for for each uh, 
uh, for each of the uh, it uh, items in range, we will uh, like uh, create embedded view for for the current uh, view reference, attach it, attach it to the template ref, and uh, expose variables. Implicit the current item number, index, uh, first and last. That's it, that is computed. It's uh, it's a really similar implementation to the ng4 that's uh, currently in, in Angular. Um, I, I have uh, shown, uh, I have not shown the generate range because it's only like we generate an array there. Uh, in block, block post, it's, uh, uh, there's wall, uh, wall code. And uh, this, is, uh, this is link, if anyone is interested to uh, to see uh, see detailed explanation, so you can you can go there. I don't know why the S is messed up, by, but <laughs> uh, if you would, Google Doc, Google Doc broke that. yeah, they they broke that. They don't like my presentation, but uh, you you can you can <laughs> you can go there and uh, and check it out. Uh, the every every example is there. Uh, with uh, it's hosted on GitHub, so there's war repo and everything else. Thank you. Any questions?